Right, hey guys, welcome back to the first video of the Life is Strange, The Fall of Storm. Um, this is my second playthrough as well, so, and um, this is my Platinum playthrough, because I'm going to be Platinum in Life is Strange before the form, so, if you guys could like, subscribe, press the bell for more content, because we post videos, we try to post videos daily, and let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. This takes place before the the first live stream game. By the way, guys, if you guys don't remember, just want to let you guys know. Um, yeah, so if you do do get confused, um, this one takes place before the first one, and then the second one takes place after the second one. So, yeah, a little bit confusing, but yeah. And this is my second playthrough, my second playthrough as well, so, yeah. <clears throat> I'm guessing that's, that's Chloe. I'm guessing that's Chloe. Yep, it is. Oh yeah, it, it is Chloe, because I've already played it before, I remember. Yeah, it's Chloe, but without her, or without her new hair. Without the blue hair. I can't, okay, there is a can't title. believe Firewalk is playing a show Good. at the old mill. Fuck yes! Mom Fucking would kill me mom. if she knew I was out here. Alright. How do I... I forgot how to run. Oh, fan. I, I will be stopping in between guys because I need to collect a bunch of um I need to do I do, I need to spray a bunch of graffiti graffitis so we need to do that as well. Well I will be stopping in between um well I'll be looking for graffiti. Oh, so. Holy shit This place is awesome. <clears throat> yes, it is, and... If I'm gonna get inside, I'll have to get through that door. <clears throat> Alright, one minute. I know what the first one is, because I had to look at the video, uh, uh, YouTube video early on, so... First one's over here. Alright, first one's over here. Now, what to draw? Free candy. I'm gonna be nice, I don't wanna- there we go. Perfect. Hey kids! Free candy. Okay, so... As I did it- as I did in the Life of Strange, I'm gonna pause. Pause graffiti. Pause graffiti. Pause the graffiti. So yeah. Right, give me two minutes. I need to try and find the video now that I was watching earlier on. On YouTube. Let's have a look. <clears throat> there we go, I found it. Let me just make sure the the my A is muted. Okay. Right, let me uh, right. mute. Let's have a look. Alright, where's this next one to? Oh, there goes my controller already, like, what the fuck? Stupid. Really did. Fucking hell. That didn't last long, did it? Our controller. Come on, at least I can put it on charge. I'm not playing on yet, though. Mm -hmm. Is this not so?
Alright, so we don't have to do anything yet, we just need to go and speak to this dude by the door, so, here we go. Okay. Help you, miss. You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. It's not a bad fake, kid, but you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scram. Really, dude? Let me in, dude. No, no, no. Chloe, don't fucking give up. Can't let him push me around. Should I go back and stand up to him? Or can something around here? God. Again? What do you want, kid? Let me inside now. to convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. Yep, continue. Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Isn't it past your bedtime? Alright, one minute. I need to have a look. It's your bedtime. Your bedtime. Aww, oh, isn't it past yours? <laughs> Real cute. But I still don't know you. Okay, what's the next one? I know it's cheating, but it's not even cheating because I've already done it once, so. Alright, so the next one is look at my face. I don't look I I don't do good. Look at my face. Do I look cute? Or do I look like I'm going to kick your ass? <laughs> okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. I am tough, dude. Looks like a damn playground to me. A girl like you? I can't protect you in there. Really, dude? For fuck's sake. I can take care of myself. My boss will kill me if I let you in. Alright, one minute. Let me try and find another one.
both not fucking failed, so let's try and find another way in. Can I maybe try to get that way? This band shreds so hard. I gotta get in there. This thing's heavier than it looks. Inside now. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Crazy. Right, where's this next graffiti, you know? Follow the lights and the sound. Can't wait to get in there and thrash. Alright, Matt. Pretty, pretty flowers on her bicycle shouldn't lecture me on what I can do. That is a traditional. <laughs> Supercharge your business with the all new Shopify point of sale. The all in one peel. Shit. Hey, Delia. Come. A girl like you with pretty, pretty flowers. Is your boss your mom? Follow up. Do you live in your boss's basement? You. <sighs> in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> I give up. Just follow the lights and the sound. Can't wait to get in there and thrash. Next one is right, okay. Perfect. Alright, so the next one's over here. Um Alright, right, over here. There we go. There goes the second one. Sit and spin. Here we go. Fuck. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. Relax. You bumped into me, remember? Yep. My bad, dude. You don't know who I am, do you? Nope. Don't care, either. Hey, let me know how that works out for you. Bitch! All right. Mosh pit is a no-go. Fine. Maybe I can get a better view of the action from up above.
I need to try and find a better one because that one's a little bit too long. This one's better. It's like six minutes long as well, so. In this first episode, is outside the mill. After you climb over the fence, your, your artwork this is going to get three episodes. Now, once you go inside the mill, you're gonna have optional graffiti number two, and it is the saw blade. So as soon as you enter, just go to the opposite corner. You'll see the saw blade hanging on the wall. Once again, we're going to have a choice here, evil eye or spin. I'm going to choose the evil eye. We'll see what that looks like here in a second. We'll also earn our second trophy. What are you looking at? Now, number three is going to be inside Chloe's room. Once you gain control of Chloe, look for the poster opposite of you. Okay, so Chloe's room. We need to go to Chloe's room. Okay, so finish this party and then... All right, okay. Here we go. Ugh. Fuck. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. Relax. You bumped into me, remember? Yep. My bad, dude. You don't know who I am, do you? Nope. Don't care either. Hey, let me know how that works out for you, bitch. All right, mosh pit is a no go. Fine. Maybe I can get a better view of the action from up above. Hey. Chloe? I know your name, you idiot. You bought pot for me every month for a year. Look at that get up, <laughs> studs. You're trying too hard. What are you even doing here? I'm trying to see this damn band. But this place is crazy packed. Hard to get to the stage. How'd you even hear about this little shindig? Ha, the internet. How else? Seriously? Fucking kids. Did you see that guy I ran into? Acted like I was supposed to know who the hell he was. Ah, uh, yeah. I know him. He works for Damon. Damon who? This is his place. He's a friend of mine. Where do those stairs go? Uh, up. Real helpful, Frank. I mean... I thought it was bloody Frank. I, I, I had a suspicion it was Frank because he looked like him as well. All right. Will I get a better view of the band up there? How the fuck should I know? Floor buffs rotted all to hell, okay? No one goes up there. Fine. I'll see you later. Whatever. Now we finally did. Oh, yes! Finally made it! I can't believe it!
the hell is wrong with you, dude? You should be more careful. It's a rough place. I don't like your attitude. Hey, I'm sorry about the beer, okay? Not good enough. <laughs> We're not done. show you how unimpressed I am with limp dick assholes who get butt hurt over a spilled beer. I think she's calling us out, dude. She's gonna regret every word. Every David word. David Whip. Oh, this are you is doing? gonna be good. I'm gonna Run. teach this little punk Run. some Run. Are you I'm serious. You wanna see me get angry here? Because I'm getting there. And it won't be pretty. It won't. She thinks she can take you? <gasps> Rachel! Fucking fan, Jesus! I'm so gonna get cop copyright um claimed on my video for YouTube, <laughs> but I don't fucking care. So because it's this music is part of the game, and I'm not I'm not, I'm not gonna get rid of it. So <clears throat> a nice magazine. Right, the next one's gonna be in Chloe's room, which I'm in Chloe's room now, so. Sway next, there we go. Death nine as well, nice. Life is Strange but full of storm, episode 1, Awake. Alright, right, time to look for the next confetti and it's inside Chloe's room, so... Sometimes all I want to do is shut my eyes and daily rituals are important. Even when they involve writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten you. Hey, Frank. Hey, Max. Hey, Dad. Another day in paradise. Right? Whoa! Wakey, 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 wakey! Last night, seeing Firewalk live. The skeevy assholes. That girl. Yep. Was, was that really Rachel Amber? Yes, it was. I smell like cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes. 
Play it down. No more unicorns, no more princesses, and no more fucking rainbows. How did you defeat you? Words of wisdom, don't fail me now. What are we picking? Yep, there we go. What's this one? Everything's worth a shot. <laughs> there we go, okay, nice. Right. I wanna have a look at everything in the room first though. Max made me this mix CD years ago. And because it was Max, not a single song was pirated. Terrible news, my fellow Oregonians. As awesome as some of those shows with Elliot were, they were nothing compared to Firewalk class. Turn her off. Better living through chemistry. That really was Rachel Amber. And she saved my life. How was last night even real? Ask Miss Arcadia. You're the only source of info I trust in this town. Wait, what? Who? What photo? I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. Okay. Oh, oh, trash. Yeah, no one needs to see that. Thank you. Uh, anything else? Nice, right, get dressed. You know what? Let's go with the Raven. I like the Raven one. Oh hell yes, I like that. Nice. I like that. Hell yes. Okay, wait. Uh, I really should get going. I'm just saying, alright, alright, okay, so. Alright, give me one minute. Alright, let's leave. Let's leave and. Shit! Where's my phone? God, it's not here. How drunk was I last night? Chloe! I said breakfast! Guess I better try calling my phone with mom's. Okay. Mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. Alright, so her phone is in her bedroom, so let's go in there, quick. How can Mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. The fuck? There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Most probably lots. But yeah, so many. Off Elliot and Mum.
Chloe, breakfast. I'm Will coming. Will down with you, please? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, bring it to... I think I saw Mom's purse in her room. It's weird that Mom's always hoarding these old catalogs. It's not like we have any money. Yeah, that really makes me want to hurry. Mom's old engagement ring. Supposed to be mine, if I'm ever stupid. I hate that she hides all our old pictures of Dad. Yeah, place it on the dresser, girl. Go on. It deserves to be on the dresser. Go on. You don't deserve to be stuck in a drawer like this. Yeah, press it on the dresser, girl. Go on. There we go. That's much better. Don't really hide it, like. You don't hide shit like that, man. Fuck's sake. Sad as fuck. Alright, go downstairs. Coming, mom. Alright. Speak to mom, go outside, and then, yeah. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. Okay. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what Mom wants before she strokes out. Hey, Mom. You wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? David. You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. School? Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah. I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you gonna eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe David should start paying rent. He spends the night often enough. How would you know? You're never here yourself. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. 
I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Mom, I know you're dealing with a lot. Thank you. I understand you don't need me as much anymore. But I need you. I do still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient. <sighs> you know. But the whole world's not out to get you. Tell that to the world. You're impossible. But I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Okay, David's waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Got it. Unless he tries to give me advice. Or looks at me funny. Chloe. Or looks at me at all. Chloe. Mom. Have a good day. You too. <laughs> Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. Right, where the hell is his keys to? from when Max and I spilled Mom's wine. I think the only reason Mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. Or it's because we can't afford nice things. We're already supporting one. Thanks. Where the fuck is the keys? Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Is mom having trouble with payments again? My scholarship doesn't cover everything. <sighs> like I need another reason for Principal Wells to get on my case. Where the fuck is the keys? Family pick used to hang here. I can't actually remember which one. Okay, where the fuck are these keys to? Feeling trapped? Right there with you. Okay, um... Crap. I forgot David's keys. That's probably worth at least 10 push ups. I made that ashtray for mom's keys only. Wait, what the fuck, ashtray? Where? Here they are. Uh. 
Let's get these to David. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. They better Ugh. get going. Oh, Steph. Hello. Okay. What a piece of crap. The car, too. You gotta try and play nice now, go. Come on. <sighs> Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electrode insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage. We can get moving. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? He most probably is, girl. Alright, wait a minute. Let me find the thing. I'm gonna find that in the blue toolbox that you can see there on the ground. So, part of the story, you're gonna to have to grab the sockets inside the toolbox. However, if you stay with the toolbox, you'll have an optional graffiti opportunity here as well. So we're gonna go ahead and take that. 50-50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. Now your first inclination may be to go walk over to Dave and hand him the sockets. However, before you do that, turn around and hit the square button. Uh, Alright, so I found the next one. So we gotta go the, the thing in here for David and then look back and then open it again. 50-50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. <clears throat> Maybe 90-10. There we go. If it's in my garage, it gets my special treatment. What message does David really need to hear? Intruder. Got it. There we go. Improvement. Hey, David. So? You find the socket wrench set yet? You can do that one simple thing, can't you? Dickhead. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Pop. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. Whatever.
Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Don't laugh. That was that was a dad spending two bucks, you dickhead. Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck. We don't have to like each other, but <clears throat> you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure, so there's some things I want to be real clear about. Dickhead. You know what, I'll shut this down. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? Here, let me put that in a language you'll understand. Foxtrot. Uniform. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? Let me dumb it down for you. I mean, sorry. What has fewer syllables than dumb? Hey, watch your... I can crap bigger than you, got it? Then I hope you're a better plumber than you are a mechanic. You... Your mother... Breaking her heart. Leave mom out of this. This is about you and me and you being an asshole. I was in the army. You will respect me. You're not my father. You're not even on the same planet as my father. That's enough. I won't stand for your disrespectful mouth. Regard for authority unites us, gives us dignity, and we are better united than divided. Joyce, your mother, she's hurting, Chloe. Hurting for you. You've had it rough, no doubt about it. But all this staying out late, ignoring her command, drinking, drug use, it's making everything harder for her. You need to shape up, get your act together, and put someone else first for a damn change. Am I making myself clear? Is it crazy if part of what David's saying makes sense to me? Got it. Thanks. We should really get going. Glad we understand each other. You should get going, dude. Hurry up. Fuck's sake. Alright. Country music? Dad loved this song. What a beautiful day. Dad, turn it up. Where are we going, Dad? If Mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. This... This isn't right. I know what a spark plug does, jerk lot. Picking up my lover from the grocery store. Oh fuck. Oh, this is where he died. Yeah, that's the yeah, uh, that that's when he dies, I forgot about that shit man. the 
hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. Shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you all in your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I see everything. Oh, you are fuck off, David. I'll warn everything. I was trying to be nice, David, for fuck's sake. Jesus Christ. Con hello, Black Hell. <laughs> <clears throat> Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about the Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? <clears throat> I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to, but sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's <clears throat> totally what I was thinking. No, I wasn't. All right. See you in Cam. Yeah, for sure. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. All right, so then, uh, <laughs> so let me go all the way down. Oh, hello. Alright, the next complete is over here. Let's do this really quick before anyone sees. Ladies and gentlemen, Principal Wells. <laughs> Okay, uh, get out, Jesus. Okay. Alright, we go. Alright, what's this next one? Well, you'll be in drama class as soon as you gain control of Chloe. All right, it's time to go to drama class. here twitch don't call me that true north a jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad oh nathan, Guess nathan prescott, prescott made the shit list oh wow this is some really weird crap prescott it's not <clears> yours <throat> give it back i hate that you're on the team now <laughs> you're such a loser guys no need to fight you can both be losers. 
the mute speaks? <clears throat> whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Oh. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop. Chloe, do something. Don't just stand there watching. The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. <clears throat> what the hell did you just say to me? Back off. As in, go away. No one's interested in your crap. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? How about picking on someone your own size? Which I hear is pretty small. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. When Nathan goes crying to Lord Prescott, everybody here will be stuck doing sensitivity seminars all week. You want a piece of this? You mean your budding bromance, Nathan? You're clearly into him. Just pull his hair already. You think this is funny? You, you think I'm joking here? Look! If you insist on continuing to suck so much, there won't be any oxygen for the rest of us. I did try. All talk, no game, huh, no. Chloe? I'm not doing it, guys. So I'll slay off him. Booyah! <laughs> that took me months to put together. Quit the team, Twitch. For your own good. Shit. Next time, mind your own business. You're welcome. Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> No problem, Skip. No, maybe you can go inside the... Okay, there we go. Maybe if I delay going inside long enough, Blackwell will be overrun by future excellence. And by future excellence, I mean mole people. That pick would actually make a sweet tattoo. Need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD? One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Hmm. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? 
Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join our game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Some other time. Sorry, stuff. Not really in the mood. Maybe later. You know where to find us. Okay. DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. <laughs> yep. Right, now we can go and see um, Rachel as well, then. Oh, hello. Oh, good. You're here. <laughs> I like these both. I really do. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, oh, oh she, Father. She's back I in broke the, your has in to the game say as so. well. No. Good. Admired Miranda. Mm. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues... Hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton! Sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. Yes, she does. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Sometimes, when you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just know it, I guess. Also, you've got parents coming to see the show, right? At 20 bucks a ticket, it's gotta be true love. Wow. A romantic and a cynic. That actually kind of helps me. Thanks. You're welcome, girl. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? <laughs> Just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? All right, so then oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah, and the next, the uh, graffiti's in here somewhere. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit, and don't, like, fall down. <laughs> Should be doable, right? This poster definitely says... <laughs> something. Right, where's this graffiti to? I can't fucking move, Jesus. Just 
to the sex. Save my life. Get some ink. Yes, left now. Chloe. <clears throat> Rachel looks so happy here. There's Rachel's belt. So I'll go give this to Rachel now. Alright, I'm coming, go. Uh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, hello. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So, did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Uh, <laughs> I guess I owe you. I'll hold you to that. Ah, sweet. I'll let you finish changing now. <laughs> Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. <laughs> I I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Is that a rhetorical question? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye, that is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Right idea. Yes, please. People won't shut up about it. Hold still. This is a lot of makeup. That's the price of valor. Close your eyes. I think it covered it, didn't it? Much better. Oh, there we go. It's covered it. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Let's get the hell out of here. Hmm. Oh man, I like I they lovely together they are. They lovely. You sure you don't wanna just grab the bus or Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Well, what the hell am I getting into here? There we go. Where does this thing go? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one. What the 
before I even things heavier than it looks. I right, guess I should sit down. Yeah, before I do that, I need to do the. I see humans, first. but no humanity. Everybody is somebody, but no one wants to be themselves. <laughs> Some preachy graffiti up in this train. There is now. There's gonna be some better graffiti. We are monsters, everybody lies. Everybody lies. I like that. There we go. 13%. I got three more cards to unlock now. I got number eight, nine, and ten now. So I got three more left. Chloe, you're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? Nice Rachel we're having. <laughs> what? I mean weather. It's nice weather. It sure is. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. I didn't mention it earlier, but you seem to have some kind of Jedi mind powers over Mr. Keaton and the theater crew. You mean when we were talking about true love in the play? <laughs> I guess you could say I'm good with people, yeah. Just don't pull that stuff with me. You will get on this train. <laughs> Oh, shit. I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Good to fucking go. Anything beats another second in Blackwell. You really hate it there, don't you? Yep. You don't? <laughs> right. What reason would Rachel Amber have for hating Blackwell Academy? Your high school royalty. You don't know me. Yet. Let's do something fun. V-card's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. Too far. Well... I don't know. <laughs> Okay, oh, something fun. I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. Oh god, okay. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves. Two of which are the truth, and one of which is... A lie. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Oh god, okay. Um, uh, I mean, well, sounds fun. Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway. 
to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. <laughs> so, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? You seem like a Cali girl to me. Damn, Price. Not bad. Long Beach, in fact. West Coast is the best coast. I've only ever lived in Oregon, so... Nothing to compare it to, I guess. Then we'll have to change that one day, won't we? Okay, your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. I'm secretly the lead guitarist of an all-girl Misfits cover band called The Misfits. Impressive. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. I used to love country music when I was a kid. Now it makes me want to throw up. Literally. That's... weird. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. I'm not sure why country music makes you throw up. I'm a complex girl, Rachel. I think it's probably true. Also, I kinda like the Dixie Chicks. You and David both. No accounting for taste. Who's David? He's... Ah... Uh, <laughs> the guy my mom's seeing, I guess. Oh. And you don't like him? Nope. <laughs> it's still so weird that she's dating someone. My dad and my mom, <laughs> they were totally in love. You can tell how fucked up she is now just by how she's settling for David. He's this total hard-ass ex-military jagoff type. Like, the opposite of my dad. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, David has no respect. He acts like I'm some kind of problem to solve. Sometimes I am a problem, though. That's a load of bullshit. I'm sorry I said anything. It sounds like the only problem is David. You need to hit him where it hurts. <laughs> the only thing that David loves has four wheels and a four-barrel carburetor. Oh, God. <laughs> a muscle car? Yep. I'm probably going to steal it soon, so... Let me know if you need an accomplice. Most definitely. Of course you want to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Buckle swash. Plunder secret treasure. Did I mention my love of booty? <laughs> So, pirate. Obviously true. Maybe you'd like to be my first mate. Oh. Are you accepting applications? 
considering it. So, let's talk about this lead guitarist business. The business of show. As much as I'd love to be a groovy to your all-girl cover band, The Misfits. I'm gonna have to call lie on that one. There's no way you'd ever be a groupie. Okay, that's fair. Backup dancer, with vocals. Obviously. The problem is, your hand is smooth. No calluses. You don't play guitar. Pity, too. You'd look hot on stage. Oh, but yeah. So, if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Yes, she is. It's impressive. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is... something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hmm. Hey. Thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. But eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. Also, you told me about that dickwad David. Now he's on my shit list too. Hell yeah. Mustache brain won't know what hit him. Yep. I guess. You opened up a lot. That's all. Yes, I did. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. I'm just not really into touchy-feely shit. But I feel like I can trust you. Yeah? I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. wouldn't mind listening to some music. Hey, wanna listen? So, so good to see. bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. Reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Yep. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Fuck it! <laughs> okay, no. Oh god, fuck you know, crazy.
day. <laughs> it's actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. <clears throat> Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? That you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. This <laughs> game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. That blows. Well, shit. That was my last quarter. You? Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh yeah? Let's see what you got. All right, okay. Rachel really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to get it working for her. Sextant. Stop sextanting the interns. Alright, two more left. I see. Yuck. Cliche much, AW and OL. I've been saying sorry all morning. I admit it was really dumb to lock the keys in the car. You've been on me for three hours. Hey. Spare some change? Sorry. We might have some leftover food when we're done. What? No, I'm not... What kind of food? This place has really gone downhill. Shh. She's right there. What's worse than groveling for change? Groveling for change and failing. Whoa, that's badass. Wonder if I can get that quarter out of the viewfinder. Yeah, but how? Get out of here, woodland creatures. Have some self-respect. Bye, you fools. I guess nature doesn't quite provide. If Max were here, she'd probably take a black and white photograph and call it Innocence Lost, or some shit. Hmm. 
Looks like this one might actually be working. I'm not getting in there with just my fingers. Maybe Rachel has something I can use? Uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. You got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? That might work. I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. Oh, right. Sh sure, let's try it. Damn it. It always looks so easy in the movies. I wonder if I can find something sturdier to use. Okay, so look. There's got to be something freeing about being able to build your home wherever you are, from whatever is around you. Hey, where the fuck? What's worse than groveling for change? Groveling for change and failing. Yuck. Okay, buddy, done we shame from... much, AW and OL? Okay, so we've already done a lot. Which doesn't work. If Max were here, she'd probably take a black and white photograph and call it Innocence Lost or some shit. I don't want to head down there just yet. Dwight Mueller really killed it with this statue of an explorer guy. Where are all my explorer ladies at, though? Probably at home, washing laundry and spitting out kids. Fuck you, Dwight. Rachel's quarter is still trapped in there, waiting to be set free. That's not gonna work. I need to find something else. Totally gonna get you that quarter. Love the confidence. Would love a quarter even more. The lonely oak looks lonely. Guess even trees have outcasts. So confused. Is there anything metal around here? Was this how historic axe murderers searched for their next victim? Metal, 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 metal. Metal. We need something metal. I guess nature doesn't quite provide. Just need to keep on looking. Maybe I can use this file to get my hands on something more pry-tastic. Yep, it's official. I'm learning way more ditching school than I ever- Whoa, that's badass. Uh, you know what, I might have to have a search this up, man. Fuck's sake. Oh wait, no, no I don't.
stealing a dedication plate takes persistence. <laughs> Going to speak to Rachel. Oh wait, not Rachel. We need to do this for all right. First, got power activate. I don't want to boast, so I'll let you do it for me. Chloe Price, you are truly the viewfinder whisperer. I stand in awe of your powers. You're welcome. Now this is where it goes Rachel interesting. smells like... Jasmine? Is she smelling me right now too? Really should have showered this morning. All right, here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it? I do that in my head during, like, every class. See? You're a natural. Let's give it a try. Hey, what do you say we barbecue some squirrels when we're done here? God, you just have the best ideas. Hmm, what's going on with these two? And the Lord said it? Thou shalt make a burnt <clears throat> offering of your firstborn son. Who are you talking to, Dad? No one, son. Now, lean into the grill and see if the fire started. <laughs> Further. <laughs> Further. <laughs> wow. That was dark. Too dark? Perfect dark. Loving this guy. What's he thinking right now? I hope bees don't mistake my shorts for begonia. I've been pollinated twice this week already. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sweet beanie. What do you suppose she's thinking? Nature's Wi-Fi sucks. Maybe there's a squirrel family around here with broadband. If only I can guess their password. We love nuts, 69. Dingoes ate our babies, 13. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> I can know. <laughs> this is fun. Who's next? Oh, yep, oh, that's, Ra sorry. that's Rachel's dad. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. That's Rachel's dad, that is, yep, yep, Rachel's dad. Ooh, <laughs> jackpot. Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. Yeah, but. Wait. You're a prostitute? But I'm a prostitute! Now who gets paid? <laughs> Rachel? 
Hey, are you all right? What are we doing? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. Uh, hell yeah. The honor student wants to show the school delinquent how to party? Be my guest. How gracious of you. Okay. <laughs> they have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead. No. You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? And fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. All right. I'm going in. Try to keep up. Um, can we help you? <sighs> oh my god! Holy shit! Talk about committing to a performance. Thank God. Please, this girl is in trouble. Go get help. I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. Who are you waiting for? Go! I, I, I already called 911. They, they should have an ambulance here any moment. In the meantime, they said to keep close watch on her. Like... All the way around and really focus. Watch out. I'm going to check her pulse. That's on her neck, right? I still think you should go get help. There's a ranger station on the other side of the park. Good point. We'll keep watch while you go. Did you know red wine has recently been found to help against strokes? Hey, we're in luck. You have some red wine right here. I'll just go ahead and administer it to the patient. Hold on. There's something off about this. Are you girls putting us on? Rachel, run! What the hell? <laughs> oh, that was fun. That was fun, that was. So, maybe your acting could use a little work, but at least you committed to the performance. Thanks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I could use a drink after trying to keep up with you. I am excessively sober right now. Right. Okay. Guess we're leaving now. Uh, guess we're leaving. All right. So we we got two. We got we got two graffiti's left now. One in a junkyard, and then one somewhere else. Check this out. What? Hmm. 
I got less so fucking bright in my fucking eyes now. It's not giving me a dick. Great. It's a pile of trash. Uh, yeah. An awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Rachel's been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. What's her deal? Chloe, I'd really like some space right now. Okay. Actually, no. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. No. I don't understand. You can't just turn on me for no reason. I'm sorry, turn on you? I guess I forgot. It's always about how you feel, isn't it? Sad Chloe's fucking sad again. Maybe you should try giving a shit about other people for once. Are you serious right now? Fuck! <laughs> Ugh. Uh... Okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel, but... Apparently, she gets smashy when she's angry. I can work with that. Score. Here. If you really want to smash something, this should do the trick. I asked you to leave me alone. Are you kidding me? I, I know you're the school princess and all. With the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass. But seriously, fuck you. Great. I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! Watch me. Rachel, wait! Don't go! Why not? Because, because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this exactly? I mean, fuck, are you actually going to make me say it? Say what exactly? You know, like a friendship, but more. Ah. I know. Weird, right? It's just... Today was the best day I've had since... Since my dad died. And when I almost ruined it just now, the way I ruin everything, it made me realize... Whatever's going on between us is special. Come on. Say something. Chloe, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. But... I can't. I can't. Even though I want to. Why not? Because I can't. I know it isn't fair. But it's how it is. Goodbye, Chloe.
Uh, the Nazca City is gonna be here somewhere. Fucking bright. Fuck this place. Time for graffiti time. I've never understood your hard on for cameras, Max. You took a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna leave when I needed you most. Fuck cameras. If you want to rip a family apart from the inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. Fuck you, David. You know she's fake, yet you can't take your eyes off her. Who else do I know who fits that description? Yeah! Fuck off, Rachel. Where's it go? Dad. Oh shit, she found the dad's bloody car. This is sad. Man, I feel bad. I feel so sorry, man. I bet she's fucking suffering, man. Fucking hell. Oh, another flashback scene. Right, and this is where the next, the last one is as well, so. I just called to tell you that I miss you, my old why are you crying, sweetheart? The fuck? Because you're not real. 
<laughs> I'm not. What is going on? What's past is prologue and shit. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? What bright side? You made a new friend today. Rachel. Yep. Where's my marker? Oh, there it is. Gotta say, that was some fight. A lover's quarrel, you might say? Hmm. <laughs> she nearly took your head off. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. There we go. Dad used to hate it when I wrote on shit. Sleep is for the weak. I guess I did that. Sometimes people need you, though. Even when they don't admit it. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. Okay. I oh no okay the hell where are we going now where are we going Oh, there she is. Hey, Rachel. Hey, go. You came. I'm glad. Hey. I couldn't let the day end with whatever this afternoon was. Chloe, 
I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? Yeah, it was the a, ones it was who a, were making out. It was their dad. Yep. That was my dad. Yep. Oh. All right. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh. The worst part is, <laughs> I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. Yeah, you never, so when I saw he you got never know until, it's, until it's too late. Asking girl. him to meet, I thought, I thought I could catch him or something. You never know until it's too late. I'm so sorry, Rachel. I don't, I don't know what to say. Neither do I. Chloe, I love my dad. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream and the other half I forgot forgot that anything had changed yeah yeah it's silly but I've carried this photo around with me for years it's from Mount Hood my dad took me hiking there when I was 10 and it started raining and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car I remember screaming like I was going to die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and... He was just so strong, you know? I I felt safe. You trusted him. Completely. Here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. Don't... Don't worry about it. No, I mean it. Whatever's going on between us, it's intense and new, and awesome, and you had the courage to tell me that you feel it too. And I treated you like shit. Courage? I don't know if I'd call it that. More like blind desperation, and maybe a slight buzz from that wine. I just want you to know, I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You didn't give a shit. I saw you sneak through the side door. You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? You dropped that one guy with a knee to the balls. Only because you showed up at the last minute and... What about Drew? When he was picking on Nathan? You got right in his face. And called him out. Yeah. And almost got punched in the head. See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with... Fuck your dad. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Us? Are you serious? 
There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Okay. Get now I'm on crazy. Crazy. <clears throat> I borrow your lighter? Ah, oh, she's gonna burn it. No. Shit, man. Thank you. Jesus Christ, that was crazy. Are they gonna see the fire from there? Yep. Oh yeah, they are. Yep. Crazy that was. Life is strange before the storm. And that's episode one done. Nice. Complete episode one awake. <sighs> okay now, okay. From me. I want my fucking money. Jesus Christ, okay. <laughs>